Five, please. Play. Britain expects. With the highest ranked players on Andy Murray's side of the draw dropping like flies, the path to another Wimbledon final continues to look tantalisingly open. Spanish veteran Tommy Robredo was the latest obstacle in the Scots' date with destiny. With the rain returning, this match will be played under the centre court roof. Murray's looked calm and composed thus far in the competition, and last year's runner-up was calling the shots early on, pulling his 31-year-old rival around the court with ease. The British number one had the early break. The world number two's explosive power was too much for Robredo. This backhand return recorded at 95 miles an hour, and Murray was two breaks to the good. Despite gifting one break back, the US Open and Olympic champion never looked rattled. Unplayable baseline winners continue to fly past Robredo. The first set was secured and the soggy Henman Hill fans were loving it. Murray was relentless. The second set continued in much the same manner. His backhand a potent weapon. Robredo broken again. The Spaniard missed half of 2012 through injury, but has been in terrific form since his return. A quarter-finalist at Roland Garros recently, but Murray continued to dominate against the former world number five. The British number one saved the break point when serving for the set, but kept his composure when it mattered the most. It was another huge step towards the round of 16, and he knew it, and so did the centre court crowd. So Murray two sets to the good, but the third was tight with serve at 5 all. Finally, in the 11th game, the number two seed pounced. It was a crushing blow for the Spaniard. Murray was serving for the match, but even facing three match points, Robredo still had the tenacity to show his class. It was, though, just delaying the inevitable. Another straight sets victory on centre court for Andy Murray. The Scot into the round of 16. And ominously for his rivals, there's nobody left in the draw the world number two has lost to at Wimbledon. The dream to end the nation's 77-year wait for a champion lives on.